Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here. What I'm here doing to demonstrate today, this video is dedicated to this with this switch the car off. Uh, yeah, keep things a bit more quiet for you all here. So bring up Autel. This is a <coughs> So this is my Autel Maxxis um, Pro MY908. Also the MS908 uh, Pro. We're going to go through the process of um, demonstrating two things: the passenger and door. I mean, sorry, pa driver and passenger door convenience modules. This gives my car a bit of time to recharge. This video is actually being recorded for a James Yao Y A James Y A O on YouTube. For the past few days, sorry, my face is up. It's been greasy. I've been doing some, busy doing some work um, all day today. So this is for James Yao, who wanted to do. Well, we had some back and forth banter in regards to coding of the driver and passenger door so this for my car is a right-hand drive vehicle so that's the driver door that over there is the passenger door that's my vehicle spin number let me just click okay I guess it doesn't matter um, in this case it really does not matter I'm doing a golf parent I'm looking for a PWA okay right Sorry, someone's actually doing some mowing at the moment, hence the reason why there exists this background noise I can't um, ignore. So let me get straight to what we, what he was asking about. So he was asking to do a diagnosis and he wanted to look at the control units. In this case, he wanted to look for the one, this would be a driver door electronics where he wanted to look at coding and adaptation specifically. So we're gonna go through this together because he says it's an adaptation that he's looking for, which let me see what security access login gives. This would be a five digit thing, click okay. Okay, it doesn't actually suggest anything here. Let me click escape for that, escape for that. Let us do so for his query or concern he wanted to look at coding well he wanted to look at adaptation but let's go with the coding options first let's set this value so I'm gonna pause here hoping that he can see this what would happen for him to get all these options, he would just simply total up some of all of these. Pause one second, do a summation. Okay, I think that should be long enough. So that's it for the driver door. Well, 560. This, would be pad this for me would be padded with a whole lot of series in front of it. So that's what he says. He insists that it's an adaptation, which there are no adaptations for this particular unit. But let's go to guided functions and see what we have here for Autel. So the options that you'd see listed here are the same options that you'd see listed in VCDS. No. what he's asking for let's go to the passenger door just in case this would be an additional 50 something 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 passenger passenger door passenger door second oh here we go so we're going to go passenger door ele electronics and we're going to look at the same coding options because there's no adaptation for these for these units Oh, whoops, sorry, crap, I should have gone back here, coding again, okay, set value, and 
so the options here are literally looking the same so the only thing that's available for these two modules are literally just this coding that's it literally nothing else pause so you can see what's what's going on here so you just simply add a, so in his case he was describing folding mirrors which yeah so he would add um, 4096 to his existing coding 4096 needs to be a part of the coding plus anything else so in my case I would have had uh, for, um, well I don't have folding mirrors on my door as noted by this doorknob here so no folding mirrors but what he had actually wanted let's go together um, with this to me would be more in terms of the CECM the Central Electrics Convenient Module so escape that escape again I'm oh, sorry I could have gone uh, Mr. Tangi with scan just see the list of yeah, see the list of modules that are actually in the vehicle. I'll take that instead. And so let's go to address number nine. Move that out of the way. All right. Now he's asking about an adaptation. Now the documented adaptation in this particular case, where. And again, as I suggested before, there are no adaptation um, figures units. So what he's going to be looking for would be would fall under coding. So this is module number nine. Let's denote this wording. The same option that you see there will be the same same options you see here will be the same options you see in OBD11, VCDS, VCP. They would just look a little. Um, the mini structure is just um, is just different. So, looking for the options that he would want to turn on or off, because he did not. He says he does not have a genuine copy of Frostex VCDS. Okay, why is it looking like? All right, let's look at that's my existing coding. So I'm just scrolling through the options so that he can tick and untick as needed. Now the coding options that are listed here would be specific to my module and part number. His module and part number may be different in this particular case. I have a right hand drive vehicle so I have only one reverse light which is on the right side, which is on the left side rather. The right side light would be a rear fog lamp which would be denoted by turning this turning this and then pulling that out and that's what you have that's a front fog lamp rear fog lamp being pulled out there and which should be shown on the windshield um, shown right here on the dashboard so push that in and it goes out and then turn that off and the lights go out yeah so here we are with the coding in question since he wants to look at all the coding options that are available to this particular vehicle. Hope this answers his question. James Yao, if there exists a specific coding value that you want to look for, please uh, drop me a message and let me know what you're interested specifically in seeing.
that's that's that for this unit here we're back to the top now let's exit this exit that and let's go to module number 46 which we may also have the juicy information that you he's actually looking for wait oh, am i not seeing 46 46 hold on oh here we go wait plastic to while we go 46 here we go adaptation since he feels an adaptation is what we're looking at oh okay this exists this seems to be what he's looking for increasing adaptation values or not comfort function Okay, yeah, let's see if the, if the remote is on or off, but that's not quite what he wants. As I had said before, this would be a coding option yet again. So let's go coding. Let's hit set value. Mm -hmm. This looks kind of more like what he's looking for. And as I said before, these same options you'll see in VCDS. Central locking. Our power window sunroof. Now, as it relates to folding mirrors, I see this in the Mark VI Golf. I don't see this in. I guess I don't remember seeing this in the Mark V. So it's a module 46 is what you'd be looking for in this particular case. Uh, closest to it. Uh, sunroof. Oh, the things, or right, so in in whatever tool you're using, the X's would represent, or right, so the X's would represent zeros. The what looks like a V would represent a tick or a, a one. In this case, a zero. So, so it'd be one, 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 zero for argument's sake. So it's checking and unchecking stuff, and that's how it's actually represented here in this particular tool. But literally for the Mark V Golf, I don't see, or this particular module, I don't see any, any way for the Mark V for the foldable mirrors to actually get function in the manner that you're asking here. I hope it's not too noisy. I hope it's not being picked up in the microphone. So, oh, it's getting noisy now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Forgot. I actually had the engine running. Uh, yeah. So this is where I ask you guys to be safe. And if there exists any particular coding options that you'd want to see or want me to expound upon, I can do it again with. Brustex uh, VCDS, but it's the exact same function, functionality, set of features as Autel. Autel has done a pretty good job with um, their units in copying and pasting 
all of the options listed here from VCGS. Let me just move this over onto this side. You can see battery voltage. So from the beginning, central locking, door opening. And this, and we're currently in module 46, by the way. Yeah, so I know for the Mark 6, Jetta and Golf, you do have the ability to, when you click the, um, you click the button, that's the lock screen button. Sorry, the lock button on your thing here, it literally folds the mirrors in. But unfortunately for the Mark V, I just don't see that as an option. One may have to go through the process of retrofitting some sort of Mark VI Golf or Jetta unit or that of a Passat typically in the B6, B7 range to be able to get that functionality and should be good to go. So as I said before, any form of coding information that you need, please let me know. I can do this video over again. Same set of options that goes through for, as I said before, Rostex VCDS, OBD11 and VCP. Stay safe.